Hello everybody and um Hello everybody and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a Google Chrome extension. So step one, let's look at how to create some basic file, like a manifest file. In coding projects inside here, I have an example of a manifest file that I'm gonna show you and then we're gonna type it out. Um, something like it. So now all we, we have what we have to go back to is the one I was doing. So under manifest.json, let me teach you how this is structured. Basically you show what the manifest version is. Um I forget which versions you should put it in, but if you're on the same version of computer as I am, like Windows 10 or Windows 7, use Manifest version 2. If you're on other things, try on 1.0 or something like that. But anyway, so now what we'll have to do is to type it out. You need the name, description, version, um, the actions, and all of these things. So now let's type it out. In this file, there will be two manifest, um, manifest, this one, just a minute, this one, I'll rename to something that doesn't exist, and let's change this, okay, manifest here, what did I click, oh, just a minute, oh, okay, here, we've got, now that we've got that in our editor, we will need manifest.json. And now, let's see. So, for this e.json, we will need this type of thing. For this main manifest, so the first thing we're going to have to do is create the browser action, um, the manifest version, and the main description version. So just pretty much type those two. As you can see, those two are what are typed out here. Then, so what we'll have to do now is do, go like that, and then press tab, or go up a, a few spaces, and then type manifest version manifest uh, manifest version I'm not good at writing manifest files I'm good at other stuff okay so let's just use this code and edit it okay let's just use this code and I I'm gonna let you copy along so the first thing you'll have to do is type out this. I'm going to give you a second to do that. Then you type out name. Whatever you want to do here, you put here. Um, this one's basically a background color changing extension. So yeah. Now under so now what we'll have to do is basically type out this description thing. And make sure to include the commas at the end of most lines. So the description is going to be like whatever you want. It, it doesn't matter. In fact, you could just leave these blank. I'm going to put 2.2. And then in the description, I'm going to put that as um, changes the Google Chrome background color. And this will change the web the website's background color, not the page background color. Basically. So default icon will what you'll have to do for the icon is make an image that size 16 by 16. My icon is just gonna be I'll make something in paint. So image.html and the default pop-up will be main.html. Permissions do not like edit this. I'll leave the code for the manif manifest file in the description. But first save everything and you will get a manifest 
dot json. JSON. Now save everything here and paste it into the real manifest JSON. Save that and delete these two files permanently. So now what we have is this. What we'll have to do now is create the files we need. So main.html. Now let's code it in this coding IDE I've created. You can code it in whatever you want. I'm just going to use this. Um, I may have the download link in the description. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, you have to type HTML, then slash HTML. Inside of here, we're going to have to have a few little features. Title, you don't have to have. But what you do want to have is body and slash body. We're not going to do a style yet, but what we can do is a basic um, body for it. The first part we're going to do is, well, um, be right back. Okay, that's it. Now what we want to do is add the style. So before you, so before body, what you're want, gonna want to do is head and style type equals text slash CSS and then slash style and then slash head. So in here we have to write the code for our style. The first thing we're going to do is body, um, whatever that thing is, and then mar tab margin 10px. This will basically set the size of our thing. Do white space, um, first, then do white space, now wrap. Then, of course, go back to where the body, where it says body and add that character. This will end the section. Now, do what the H, H1 is what we, is one thing that, um, H1 is font size 15 pixels. This will make it compatible with the correct size of the extension. Finally, we have to do the container section um, and then align items center display flex justify Content space between. What we've basically just done is set up the style of our entire HTML thing. So now what we have to do is make this a script which has the source of J of a um, source pop dot JS. So what we have to do now is under style, we're going to add script src equals popup.js and then slash script. Okay. Now the next part that we will have to do is to actually create the um, the background um, color changing thing. So where it says body, what we're going to want to do is add this. Whatever you want the title to be, so H1 style, this one is just my favorite, color red and then strong background color slash strong slash h1 
this is just my personal favorite. You don't have to do it exactly like this. Now you have to do it exactly like this. Div ID equals whatever you want. Container is, well, no, it was whatever, like, never mind, just type container. Um, then what we're going to have to do is span... Span, choose a color, slash span. After span, it's best to type that character. Now, select ID equals drop down. By the way, this entire HTML thing can in truth be whatever you want. This is what will show on the extension thing. Select ID equals drop down. Now what we have to do is option selected disabled hidden val value equals um, nothing. So first, it will have nothing at all selected. Then you'll do off. Now you have to do choose all the colors you want it to be set to. I so basically type this code: value equals no option value equals nothing, and then nothing there, and then slash option. Now here's what you want to do. Whatever color you want it to change it to, add that here. So I'm going to do black in the value, and then whatever you want to call that color on the menu, type right there. Well, I wonder why it isn't showing yet. That's strange. But now what we have to do is basically copy this as many times as you want until you believe that you have the correct amount of color. So I'm going to do black, white, red, and green. White, red, and green. Now what we'll have to do after this is well, now that you've done that, you will at least just have to type slash select. Then, what you'll have to do is, well, nothing pretty much. Yeah, nothing at all. Well, almost nothing. You're going to have to do, after slash, after select, we're going to do slash div. So now let's test this code by putting it into our uh, into our file into our file. So I'm going to just copy it from here. I'm not going to add any text. I'm just going to copy it, and then I am going to go to the extension inside of main.html, paste your code or whatever you want to do with your code. Now I have a problem here. Do you see what mistake I made? Right here, you have to add that character. Now, if we do this, you see that it will ask us to change the background color. This is a basic way of changing the background color. Um, so the next part you'll have to participate in and do is creating the popup.json file. Or not popup, but what did I name it? What, what is it? Yeah, I named it popup. JS. So now what, I'll ha what you'll have to do is create a file called popup.j. No. So popup.js. You with me still? Okay, good. Um, I have to pop. Okay, so I'm telling you the truth. I have no idea at all what to put in the popup.js file. So we will have to input some code from a Google Chrome recommendation. 
So for packup.js, let's just input code. I'm going to put this code in the description or something. So save, the, save your code, exit out of this, and then click on, um, well, your extension's mainly done now, except for one thing. If you look in our manifest.json, or JSO, I mean JSON, we need an image dot, I meant PNG, change that to PNG. Okay, so what we're going to have to do now is create a new file, image dot PNG. Now we'll have to edit this in image with whatever you want to do. I'm going to use paint 3D. We couldn't, it couldn't open apparently. So let's try it with something else. Never mind. What we're going to have to do is open whatever we want to use. So paint 3D is what I'm going to use. So click on new. Um, how do I? 2D, PNG. We'll need a PNG file. Oof. But this will You know what? We're going to have to use... We're going to have to use an image by Google again, so be right back. But listen to me. If you know how to create an image that's 16 by 16 in size, Um, then you can create it by yourself. So let's change this to image.png and edit it with Paint 3D or whatever you're using. So now we have to edit it. As you see, it says hello on this one. But what we'll have to do is edit. So number one thing we're going to do is completely clear the screen off. Now let just add what we want it to be. So we're going to do just this in a normal pencilish thing. Ooh. Why? No. What we're going to do actually is you all know what color YouTube is, kind of, right? See, because YouTube, YouTube.com is, wait, YouTube.com's theme colors are white and red or black and red. Black and red are its theme colors here. So let's add some black on this side. Black on one side, red on the other. Black on one, red on the other. Now what we have to do is pretty much draw um, in the least thickness we can this. Um, so why... And then in black, T. So you can draw whatever you want. I'm just drawing YT. So now I'm going to select save. And if we open our file, it is saved as that YouTube thing, most likely. Yeah. See? It's saved as that. So now we have pretty much completed our thing. So what we have to do now is go to Google Chrome and go to Chrome slash slash extensions. Click load unpacked extension and click whatever you named your folder and click OK. See, it shows the version I put in the manifest file, the description, the, all of that stuff. And it even shows the image correctly. So now let's go to a page that can be changed. 
So if I click change on this website, as you see, it changes to what it was. If you reload the page, it is unchanged. But if you click it again, it changes again. See, it's a very basic thing. So if we load this, we can change the color to whatever we want. So that's the basic way to create a basic Chrome extension. I hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye!